Hello everyone, Colin Kanad here for Woodwork Web. Today I'm going to show you how you can use circular saw blades in your table saw. A while ago I made a video on 10 inch blades for the table saw and that little circle that you see on your screen is the link to that video. Today I'm going to show you how you can use circular saw blades in your table saw and what kind of results you're going to get. Now if you're new to the channel and you enjoy woodworking I invite you to subscribe, click that little notification bell uh, and then you'll see all the next videos that I release. Let's go over to the table saw. Today I want to look at two circular saw blades. First is a ripping blade, a 24 tooth, the second is a cross-cutting blade with 40 teeth. And if you remember the last video we said ripping blades have fewer teeth and have large gullets. Cross-cutting blades have many more teeth and they have much smaller gullets. What a lot of people don't realize is that the arbor on a circular saw is the same arbor as is on most table saws. So you don't need any adapter, you can just put those blades on and they fit on just like a regular 10 inch blade. Now some of you are asking, why would you bother to replace a 10 inch blade in your saw, uh, in a 10 inch saw, with a 7 and a quarter inch circular saw blade? And the answer, there's a few answers for that. First of all, these blades are very thin, they're almost half the thickness of a, a 10 inch, even a thin kerf 10 inch blade. They're much, much thinner than that. So there's less noise, there's much less sawdust, and it means that there's less waste of wood. And I'm going to talk about that more in a second here. Um, the other thing is sometimes if you're cutting into wood that may have been used and you don't know if there's nails or things in it, you don't want to use one of your expensive $70 blades. Uh, if you think there might be a nail in there, um, why not use a, a much less expensive blade that will still give you a very good cut um, and, and not ruin one of your big blades. But let's have a quick look at some of the things that you can do with this. I've got some examples here. I often use a circular saw blade in my table saw when I'm cutting things. For example, this purple heart is very expensive uh, and I don't want to waste the wood. I don't want a big thick kerf going through it that is just going to turn into sawdust. So when I'm cutting smaller pieces, uh, and this is holly, I don't have a lot of holly, uh, and you can see it makes a nice small thin cut. Uh, there's a strip of purple heart and that's the kind of thing that you can do when you're using a thin blade like this. Of course you can get thinner and thinner cuts. Okay I've installed the ripping blade in my saw and one of the disadvantages is you can only cut in my saw, I, the, the deepest I can cut is one and three quarters of an inch which for a lot of things is just fine. The other thing that you have to remember these blades are very thin um, so you don't want to be forcing wood through them so that the, the blade is actually going to bend um, and if you don't do that you will get a good cut. Well I'm ready to cut some wood now and I have a few examples uh, so we can kind of see what they're going to look like and I'm going to do some cross cutting and some ripping with this ripping blade. So I've got some oak, I have some double sided melamine here and I have some good quality plywood. So I'm just going to run through all of these and then we'll have a look and see what the results look like. Let's have a look at our results here. Now here's the, the board that I just ripped and this is oak and this is the underside here and honestly that's a, <laughs> that's, I'm surprised that's actually better than I thought. When you put that, hold that together like that you can't actually see that seam uh, until I go like that. So that's really good. The ripping of course is very good. Uh, the cross cutting not so great uh, and you can see the little um, tear out there at the bottom, especially when I hold that together like that. So um, you know what, it's um, depending on what you're doing that may be acceptable for what you're doing. Uh, the ripping uh, on the, uh, this is the piece that I cut here 
and you can see uh, if you look closely there's a little bit of tear out along there if you look close along that edge in there uh, but you know what it's for a ripping blade it did it did a pretty good job uh, and of course on the plywood same thing on the plywood uh, ripping the plywood to length as we ripped with the grain it did a very very good job of that cross cutting against the plywood that's another story uh, and we're dealing with pretty thin veneers here but you can see pretty plainly uh, there's a fair bit of see that you can see that tear out along there on the plywood so I'm um, not really good for cross cutting on plywood now my experience with using the seven and a quarter inch blade it's more of a rougher cutting blade it doesn't give you um, really super clean cuts on on many things uh, but it's a nice quick easy blade and if you take your time with it you'll get some good cuts now in my last video somebody asked why can't you use a ripping blade or a, sorry a, why can't you use a cross cut blade to rip and that's a really good question. The reason you typically don't do that, two reasons. The first one is you have to go much slower with a cross cut blade when you're trying to rip with it because it's got that many more teeth. The other reason is that if your wood has a tendency to burn and you have that many more teeth and you're going that much slower through the, the saw and through the blade, uh, there's a much higher risk that your wood is going to burn. So that's the only reason why. I've installed the 40 inch blade. In this case I am going to do some ripping and we'll do some cutting and I've got some put some marks on there so we can line these up and see. Let's take a moment to have a look at our results here. First of all, this is a cross cut blade, so let's turn that over because this is the where we can tell. And you can see that there's a, still a tiny bit of tear out there, but it's much, much cleaner than the other cut that we made. Uh, and the ripping cut, line that up there, there's the ripping cut. And it did an, it did an okay job of ripping, and in this case it didn't even burn the wood, so it it's fine, it, it worked. It's, it was just a little bit slower, that's all. Let's have a look at the other pieces. There's the, uh, the, the double-sided melamine, and of course the top always looks the best, uh, but when we flip it over, and there's the 40-tooth blade, and even with that, you know, it's still not, you can see how you really need a specialty blade to get a good cut there, so on the back side, uh, not very good at all. Uh, and it's nice and clean. There's the cut that I just made right there. Uh, oh, sorry, there's the, yeah, that's right, that's the cut. So there's the top of it. So it's going to be clean anyway, but there's the back of it. And you can see it's, it, that's a very nice clean cut and that's a cross. So it actually does do a very nice job of plywood. Uh, and there's what the ripping blade did. So you can really see there is a, there really is a big difference. Maybe you can see it better there. Anyway. Um, so that's the cross cut and that's the, the that little 40 tooth blade. Now the ripping side um, of the plywood, of course, it's going to do a good job. It looked like there might, no, maybe it's just a blemish there. I wondered if it burned the plywood a little bit, but maybe not. Um, anyway, it did, of course, it did a nice, just a little bit slower, did a nice clean job. Now there is uh, lots of lots and lots of different circular saw blades on the market. I prefer these uh, Freud Diablo blades. They're easily come by. They're readily available. And you know what? They're because there's so many different vendors. They're often very competitively priced. So um, you know when you get them that you're getting a good quality blade. If it's a no name, if it's a name you don't know, then you really don't know what the quality of the blade is. The other thing I wanted to tell you about: there is something on the market. It, you may see it. Uh, it's called a plywood blade and it has very very fine teeth almost like this. Of course it's a circular saw blade but very very fine teeth. I bought one of those blades several years ago. I looked around <laughs> to see if I still had it. I used it once. It did such a terrible job um, that I don't use it and I can't even find it. I don't even <laughs> 
know where it went, um, but I don't know what plywood it's designed to cut, um, but you will find different things like that. So what I'm showing you here is what I use, and it's not right or wrong, it's just what I use, and now you've seen the results, um, so you can make, <laughs> make your own judgments on what you want to purchase, or if you want to purchase, if it's something you ever want to do. Um, but now you know that you can put circular saw blades in your table saw uh, for some specific reasons that you might want to do. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.